guys, Oscar Mircho here, and today we're doing an unboxing of this Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 um, Marvel Legends series set, as you can see here. So these are like the 6-inch figures, and they have the Build-A-Figure of... I don't even know what his name is. Um, I can't remember what the guy's name is. He's some tiger guy. As you can see, his head kind of right here. Um, he's not a very well-known character, and that's why um, I can't remember. Oh, up here it says Marvel's uh, Titus, I think it is. Um, like I said, these are bros figures that I op open and do a video for him and stuff like that. So I don't know a whole lot about them. So um, probably going to have some fun here not knowing um, exactly who these people are. But hopefully I can get through and stuff like that. So we're going to, of um, course, just open each one of these. And of course we'll do like we did before where we show off each of the figures and then what comes in the box and stuff like that. And then, of course at the very end we'll build the Titus um, Tiger guy. And so um, hopefully it'll be really awesome and everything like that. So we'll go ahead and um, get these all open. I'll bring it, bring it back to do them individually. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay, guys, so I got them all open now. So we'll start with the first one. And of course, we'll start with Star-Lord, which, of course, is Chris Pratt's character. So as you can see, the detail that's there as the face that looks a lot like Chris Pratt and everything. So it's weird how much detail and everything they can put into toys and stuff now to get them to look like um, their characters and everything. And of course, he has his red jacket on and then his shirt that I know places have um, sold now and stuff like that for you to get. Um, and then, of course, just has boots and jack um, leather pants on or whatever and stuff. And he comes with, so he has his two guns. Again, I have no clue what they're called or anything like that, so don't know that much detail. And then it does have his helmet head um, that you can switch out and stuff. So where it's got his actual like Star-Lord helmet type thing and stuff on with his hair sticking out of the top. So you can replace that. If you want to, but of course we won't um, right now. But um, that's all that he comes with. He does not come with a part of a uh, um, tight Titus, I think. Is, yeah, what it was. Um, kind of looks like his gun may guns may go on the side here somehow. Not exactly sure. I just see these um, things sticking off. I don't know if you can see them, the pegs. So I thought maybe the guns went on. They may, but I just don't know exactly how to get them on. Maybe or maybe they don't even go there. I don't know. I just saw and thought it was weird. So I thought maybe the guns went on there. But so that is Star-Lord. And then next up we have uh, Drax. Which of course we have Drax here. Again, which is uh, played by uh, Dave Batista, Of course the WWE wrestler. Or ex-wrestler and stuff like that. So that's how I knew him as and stuff. So there's him again. Much detail there on the face. But he's got all his tattoos and everything all over his green body. Then he's just got his um, shorts with... Um, Oops. with uh, shoes that have um, like holster, I call them holsters, but whatever things on the side to put his um, swords at. And then he comes with, um, of course, his two swords, um, his weird like little dagger sword things, which um, should go down into his boots if they fall out <laughs> like this. I may put them in the wrong. And then he also comes with... Uh, oops, so I'm just dropping everything. Um, the rocket launcher, which I don't remember. I th no, he didn't. I say I don't know if he has uh, had it in the movie or not. I don't know for sure what this has to do. Maybe it's probably for the new movie or something. Um, but he ha came with a rocket launcher. And then he comes with the left arm of Titus. Um, so there we have that. So we can start getting ready to build and everything. And I believe that is it for Drax. Um, it says Drax on the box here it has a little description it says Drax the Destroyer travels the galaxy seeking revenge against those responsible for his family's death so that kind of gives you a little bit of information on Drax and then we'll move on to Nova which you Nova know, was always a character I really liked like when I um, got comics first set of comic books and stuff um, I always liked the Nova stories and stuff like that um, so we have Nova there and then he comes with this little guy, I don't know what it is at all. Um, like I said, I don't know a whole lot about these characters. Like, I know who Nova is, but I don't know anything beyond that. But he has this little tiny guy with him. I think it's really cool, and he's kind of cute. But he has, like, the little Nova logo there, the three-prong, like, he has up here on his head. Um, but I don't know what that is. Maybe the description will say something. But then we have the, you know, the upper body or torso or whatever of Titus there. And then for Nova, it says, Sam Alexander um, searches the galaxy for his father as the Nova Centurion Nova. And so that's what his information says about him. So his name is Sam Alexander. Um, but that's all that he comes with. And then we'll, of course, move Titus' body over there. 
And next up we have uh, Yondu, which of course played by Michael Rooker, or Rooker, whatever. That was in uh, The Walking Dead and stuff as Daryl's brother. And so as you can see the head again there looks a lot like Michael Rooker. And um, so he has this blue um, body and stuff with the head and hands and everything. And then he's got his um, Reavers um, jacket there with the logo on it. So the, he's going to be joining in the movie this time. He also comes with his um, other additional head that has the giant fin, which um, as far as uh, Yondu goes, that's how I always knew who Yondu was, was because he had this giant uh, red fin on his head. And so in the first movie and stuff, he's just got like this one, the little short. Um, but in this movie, they're going to probably be doing something to explain um, his fin or whatever and how he has that. And then, of course, he comes with his whistle arrow, which if you saw the first movie, he, like, whistled and the arrow flies around and, like, um, kills people and stuff like that. And then he comes with the um, right arm of Titus, which is, like, a cannon, blast, four cannon blaster type thing. So that's um, really cool. It'll probably be super top-heavy holding this giant thing. Um, but then we'll go ahead and set that aside. And then for Yondu, it says the captain of the... Um, Ravage, or of a Ravenger faction, that's the name. Uh, Yondu is a powerful warrior um, shrouded in mystery. So that's why he's new. He was a part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, but of course in the first one he's kind of like a bad guy. Not like, um, I can't think of what the guy's name was. Not like the super bad guy or anything like that, but he was still not um, good or anything. So we'll set him aside and now move on. Now these people, I have absolutely no clue who they are. So this first one is the girl, and her name is Angela, it says. And then she comes with uh, these two, like, axe sword weapon things. I don't know how you describe them. Um, but of course, I can go in her hands. I don't know. I'd say axe is probably, I don't know how else you would um, describe what those are. But also has um, this sword here, which looks really cool. Like, of course, it's bent, because a lot of these figures' weapons get bent and stuff like that. But I like the like design on the hilt and all that sort of stuff. It looks really cool. But she has that sword. And then the right leg of Titus. So we have that as well. And so this says for Angela that um, a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Angela is known throughout the galaxy for her battle prowess. Um, so yeah, that's all it says about her. I don't know exactly who she is. I feel like she's maybe related to somebody. But I don't know for sure. Again, I don't know a whole lot about... Uh, these like extended people in the uh, Marvel Universe and stuff like that. So again, I have no clue who she is or anything like that. So then we'll move on to the next one. And now this one is kind of cool. So this guy is uh, Vance Astro. So he looks really cool. He's like super blue. Like he's got the blue at the top and then the middle and his feet there and stuff. And then white everywhere else. And then he has this star of like the American flag type thing of a star. There I, Again, I have no clue anything about him. But he does come with one of my favorite things, which is a Captain America shield. Um, so he has something along the lines to do with that, I guess. Um, and then he has the left leg of Titus, which again we'll put over here to build him. Um, but this thing, since he's in a... So it, with these Marvel Legends things, they... Com like combine a couple people together and so he's combined with the um, next guy but it so their box just kind of goes for both of them and it says with incredible powers both body and mind these her um, heroes prepare for any intergalactic mission so again doesn't tell anything about him and I don't have any information on him but I just know he has a Captain America shield so he's cool in my book because of that and then we'll move on to the last um, character here which is Darkhawk or I think that's, yeah, Dark Hawk. And so he looks really cool. And he's got these wings on his arms and stuff. Kind of looks like a Angel from the X-Men. Um, but as you can see, he's got, there's an up close of his head and stuff. And he's got that diamond on his chest. And then he's just an all blackish blue outfit, or again, with the metal wings there. And he does have like a Wolverine type claw on his hand. Again, these are all bent because of the quality of this stuff. Since it's just like cheap plastic. Um, but like a Wolverine type claw there and stuff and he just looks really cool and he comes with um, Titus's head so there's like the tiger head there um, and so now we have all the body parts to build Titus and that's all he comes with he doesn't have any other wep weapons of course he has like the metal wings and then the claws and stuff so that's probably the only weapons he has 
but he still looks really cool. So now I'll put uh, Titus together and build him, and then we'll come back once he's done, and you and I'll show him off and stuff. Okay, so I finally got Titus put together, and so here's what he looks like. Um, so he's just nothing much to him. I mean, he's just like this tiger type guy, as you can see by the head and stuff. Of course, has a tiger or, uh, like claw and stuff there too. So warrior. Um, but then he has this giant gun on his hand, which is then has a metal arm like Colossus and stuff. So I assume that he lost an arm or something, and then somebody put attached this onto him and stuff. And on his eye, he does have like a monocle type thing. That's like a. Um, uh, it's got like it's uh, electronic or something like that so it could be used for something else again I have no clue anything about this and then he's just got a blue a dark blue and gold um, outfit as you can see there um, so that's really all there is so this is of course the build a figure of Titus in the Marvel Legends series um, so if you enjoyed this unboxing please leave a thumbs up leave any comments you have down below let me know what your favorite um, hero is out of all these or if they're um, heroes I didn't know much about um, leave me information you have about them and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more, and we will see you next time.